English is the official language that is used in Nigeria and Naira is our official exchange currency. But this does not apply in this part of Nigeria as people here speak French instead of English. Bonjour à tout le monde. Je m'appelle Farida et ma famille s'appelle Walia. People actually prefer to speak French and also spend SIFA as their official currency. So the interesting thing is here they have no common boundary with any French speaking country. Yet, how come everybody here speaks French and how come everyone here uses SIFA as a means of exchange? Also, in this video, I'm going to show you how you could get 150,000 Naira by doing a simple task. This is Ejibo. The only community in Nigeria where the second language spoken here is actually French and not English. And the money that is used here is also Sifa. Ejibo is one of the oldest Yoruba town in the present Oshun state in western part of Nigeria. The founding fathers of Ejibo were many traders who migrated to Abidjan in Ivory Coast a French-speaking country, in search for a greener pasture. Many of the people who migrated intermarried and settled in Ivory Coast, now having dual citizenship. Our forefathers go and trade in Abidjan. So from there, they are married there. Then all of us now was born in Abidjan. Uh, we are living there. We are brought Abidjan. We go to school, do everything in Abidjan. That is why all of us are living in Abidjan. No, uh, no compound in this Ejibo, no get family in Abidjan because it's there our forefathers are living since, even up till now. We build in Abidjan, we trade there, we school in there, we do everything there. We are still living there without problem. We are having all our family. There is no household in Ejibo local government that didn't have a child in Cote d'Ivoire. That Abidjan airports in this town is like our London. Abidjan is our London here. And we in Nigeria, in Ejibo here, we always pray for Abidjan in general because it's from there we get uh, little thing to eat, to feed our family and to live. I've been living in Cote d'Ivoire since I was born. So I just came back to Ejibo last year. But your children are in Nigeria? I have. Some here, some there. Then only two in Cote d'Ivoire. The rest are here. But living there, how is it like? like no problem. No we don't have like problem Nigeria. at all. I have my own house over there. So what was the experience going to Abidjan? Uh, my experience is Abidjan. Abidjan is a good country. Okay. And I like that country to live. This country is very, is very comfortable more than uh, Abidjan. Because that place, uh, uh, the rent money wants to kill us there. But this place is very easy. And I'm enjoying this picture. Well, between Abidjan and Nigeria, which one do you like? Uh, uh, for don't worry, Nigeria <laughs> government will not hold you. Okay, I like Kodiba to live. <laughs> so, <laughs> so you prefer uh, Kodiba? Kodiba, to Nigeria. Uh, yes. Why? Yeah, because Kodiba is uh -huh. a peaceful country, and then you have, if you work there, you can, like, you can quickly achieve mm. in that country. Faster Fast than Nigeria. And Nigeria. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So yeah. Nigeria competition is too much. Uh -huh. And their money now is now better than our money. Um, uh, our money. Uh -huh. So if you earn uh, 10,000 10, CIFA now, it will be a big boy in Nigeria now. I see. But if you own like 10,000 Naira in Nigeria, you go, that is a uh, uh, chicken money. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's why I, like. I prefer Kodiba to live. Okay. Uh -huh. Please, uh, our government, you people need to do better. So our, uh -huh. our citizens will not jack back to Cote d'Ivoire. Uh -huh. <laughs> Il y a beaucoup qui me connaissent au Nigeria et en Côte d'Ivoire. Merci beaucoup. Maman, quand on n'a rien à faire... This migration to Ivory Coast have continued until this present day. And this inter-country relation has led to Ejibo becoming a mini Abidjan, where 99% of the people here speak French as their second language and prefer to spend Sifa. So since we're in the French city in Nigeria, first thing we want to do is to change our Naira to Sifa. So we're able to purchase some things here. Come on, let's go. Let's this one now. Yes. This is 1,000. To collect this, now how much do I need to collect this? 2,000. It's around. 
I shot this video in November 2024 and as of this time, the CIFA has almost tripled the Naira in value as 1000 CIFA is equal to 2800 Naira. This is quite pathetic because in 2015, before President Jonathan left the office in Nigeria, 1 Naira was equal to 3 CIFA. By the time President Buhari left office in 2023, 1 CIFA has now equal to 2 Naira. And now, 1 CIFA is almost at 3 Naira under President Tinubu, showing how badly the Nigerian Naira has fallen and the economy has gotten really bad. Why some feel the current government is doing its best to revive the economy, others feel the country is not getting better in any way. If you like to rate the current performance of the current president of Nigeria, you can actually visit this website. Register or sign in with your Google account and you'll be able to rate the performance of the current president. Additionally, you also stand the chance to win 150,000 Naira. By simply sharing this voter system on your social media, save the screenshot of your shared link as proof and subscribe to the YouTube channel of the company that has developed this rating system. A quick disclaimer, please kindly know that I am not the one that developed this rating system and I am also not affiliated to the company that developed it, nor the company or their products. So I am currently inside the market right now and uh, I am going to use this 1000 CIFA to try to purchase some things here and see how that goes all right because right here you can actually spend both naira and sifa how much 1200 i only have sifa you collect i uh, take so you give me change i just bought this for 1200 naira and i gave them 1000 sifa so now they're going to give me change in naira even though i gave them sifa oh yeah bring my change Mommy, bring the change what you get, don't worry. Uh -huh. All right, so I got my change in Naira. Meanwhile, I gave them Sifa. Now, my money, my money remained plenty, but it remained like how much? Is it remained like? It remained one one. See, you can buy things in Sifa here yeah, and also buy things in Naira here. Yeah. And when you buy things with Sifa, they actually can give you change in Naira or in Sifa, depending on what they have. In fact, this place actually reminds me of Liberia because in Liberia, they actually use US dollar and also use the Liberian dollar. So you can actually buy with both currency. And that is exactly what's happening here in Ejibo, in Oshun State, in Nigeria. Ejibo is one of probably the only town in Africa that have truly achieved the borderless Africa many people talk about. The people of Ejibo did not only migrate to Ivory Coast, but also imported the culture and the lifestyle of Averians to Nigeria, and now they can actually live in both worlds. This is the borderless Africa that many talked about, but this town, Ejibo, actually have lived that dream. When we marry Abidjan, we marry Ghana, we marry Togo, all of the Abidjan. So we marry, they come to our Ejibo, and that Abidjan people, that is Ivorian, that Ivorian is still be married Yoruba too in, in Abidjan. So we are mixing together. You can live in Edigo here to hear friends because nobody here cannot hear friends. So can we can call it we can call it in our second language here. That French is our second language. In Edigo. In uh -huh. If you are if you are in the town now, you will see people using Sifa, speaking English and I mean French and using their, they are speaking their indigenous language. One thing I need to know is that traveling around Nigeria and shooting mini documentary like this is very challenging, difficult and also very costly. This is the reason why only few are actually doing it and even those that were doing it before, many have actually given up. But we are here still creating content for you. So one thing I need you to do is to support me by subscribing to the channel. But most importantly, share this video so more people can get to see it. And if this video does well, it actually encourages us to continue to create content like this. Acheke. Which food is this? Acheke. So what's Acheke? Acheke is a uh, uh, popular food from our town here. Yeah. Okay. It's a popular food in uh, Yes. In uh, Jibo. Okay. Yeah. But it's from where? <laughs> They came, they brought it from Cote d'Ivoire, Ivory okay. Coast. Okay. Now, okay. Uh, but that's the most food you put. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So, how does mommy sell it? How is mommy selling it? Uh, he's selling like 200. 200 from uh, this one. Uh, like, uh, how much you sell? You buy this from uh, Cote d'Ivoire? 700 from Cote d'Ivoire. I also tried that atike, a popular traditional food eaten in Ivory Coast, that is widely also eaten in Ejibo.
A ticket is prepared from a fermented cassava pulp that has been granted. This yogurt is so totally different from what the normal yogurt I normally drink here in Nigeria. So this is very different, very thick and nice. And you said the name is called what? Yahoo. 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 Lekaye. 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 Okay, this rice from Cote d'Ivoire. Macaroni. Macaroni. Okay. Soap. This soap too from Cote d'Ivoire. Africa. Uh, okay. So all of this soap, all of this rice, Africa. So I'm currently inside one of the buses that's actually used to go to Abidjan in Cote d'Ivoire. So this bus actually moved from Ejibo here and moved to Abidjan. As of the time of recording this video, so moving from here to Abidjan cost around 110,000 naira. Okay, that's around 40,000 CFA or so. So there's some money we pay along the road. So if you know how a, a yellow card, when you reach Norway, that's the last, bus to, uh, last uh, border. Before we reach, you enter uh, Côte d'Ivoire, we pay 2,000 CFA. But there's a place in Lakoji, either we have every document, you must pay 2,000 CFA there, one, before you enter, before you enter uh, uh, this place. Uh, Togo, you pay 1,000 CFA. Before you leave the place, you pay 1,000 CFA again. So that's 2,000. That's, that's all the money that you spend on the road, 4,000 CFA. So normally it takes just one day. If you move here, 8 o'clock in the morning, you can get to go to Voir the next 8 o'clock in the morning. But due to immigration and some of the challenges that they face on the way, especially in Cotonou, in Benin Republic, it seems like the journey now takes like three days or so. I like Cotonou now. So let's say there's a tree be so be, be they hate Nigerians. So the way they stop us there. Okay. So if you read Kotono, like they will say we they have to there's a paper they normally do for us. Mm. They may say computer is not working mm. and they know you spend to write it. Mm. We have to wait even for some sometimes we can use a day in that place Just with passenger. Wow. So the stress is too much in that place. I don't know whether it's a stress or we have maybe they just against us or the policy is yes, too, too heavy for us to carry. So in your calculation, how, how many people move from here, Ijibo here, to, to Ivory Coast, like daily or maybe like weekly? No, we normally move at least every Sunday. So, so to move every Sunday. Some move Wednesday, some move Monday, some move Thursday. But your own company? But I have, our own is every Sunday. Every Sunday? Mm. Oh, okay. Averagely 40. Averagely 40 mm. every Sunday, Sunday. Mm. move from here. From here. Okay. And people also carry goods mm. to there. So sometimes this if you are if you are in peak time, you know, at least 70 sometimes. You know, sometimes 140. Like during the salad time. So people normally come, to normally go. So at least 140 sometimes. Because when we load, load this two motto, at least automatically we carry 770. Okay. With that motto. If you're one of those that are looking to go to Abidjan, Côte d'Ivoire, you can actually come to Ejibo here in Oshun State and take this car and it will take you there. What's your company number? In case those that will watch this yeah. video, they want to go to Côte d'Ivoire, okay. you can just call so you can direct them better. No, Allah. So, our company number now, mm -hmm. 082 yes. 77 mm -hmm. 5864 61. So, what was the experience like traveling with this bus to go to Côte d'Ivoire? Uh, I know. Was it peaceful or was it, stressful? Uh, it was peaceful. It is uh, stressful sometimes. It is stressful okay. because if you get sometimes, uh, uh, you know, in this bus, in our engine, mm. uh, it go break any time. Okay. Uh, but that time you break, you go suffer yourself or inside okay. the bus. You, okay. you, you go spend like a two days in the road mm. without moving. <laughs> so this bus normally move on Sunday. We are actually recording this on Saturday. Mm -hmm. So that's why you don't have passengers now. Inside. Because but they are actually loading passengers' goods, right? Yes. So that means on Sunday now they are going to move out and, and all of that. All right. So thank you very much. So hopefully I can join this bus to Cote d'Ivoire. Yeah, and I'll jack my leave Nigeria. How much is that? I can draw. I think 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 I can draw. I want to show up with. 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 I want
thank you so much for watching this video and don't forget to check out Ejibo anytime you come to Oshun State you can check out this unique community and if you want to learn French you can also come here to actually learn French don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're new and I'll see you guys on the very next one Merci